if a government which thinks of itself as public, okay, wants to give funds to the, to actually private sectors, but basically to further some aspect for the public, then the government would feel it has a right to uh, see, if, feel like its money is being misused, basically. And depending on the power structure, uh, the people that would consider that misuse are usually senators and congressmen and people that are doling out this kind of, kind of money. And for them to see uh, a Maplethorpe uh, photograph of water sports, someone pissing in someone else's mouth, would be very, very disconcerting to them, you know. Why would we pay for a picture of water sports, you know? Or in the case of Serrano, uh, putting the, uh, the crucifix in, in urine, why would we pay for someone to, to blasphemy our religious symbol, basically, our, culturally, our cultural religious, religious symbol? Uh, we've often been against the idea of burning the American flag and things like that. I mean, it comes down to an issue of freedom of speech. However, I may not, as a government, want to pay for your freedom of speech if, in fact, I think it actually really offends most, most of the most of the public. I'll give you an exact example of this, uh, a person that you actually have seen only one work of, but David Avalos, uh, as part of the Border Art Project, uh, received an NEA grant, and what he did with his NEA grant is he gave $10 bills to illegal immigrants. Okay? Now, you could see where the government didn't decide it wanted to give a grant to illegal immigrants doled out in, a, uh, in levels of $10 a piece. They could have done that themselves, could they not? But now this guy in the name of Art comes out and does this conceptual piece, which is full of excellent political conversation that we might want to get into it, but the people doling out the money might not like that at all. And I will argue they have a right not to like it. You know, uh, they have a right to express their opinions and they have a right in a sense to maybe even well, I don't want them to make anything more restrictive, but uh, I think that's the basis of the basis of the problem. What do we think public? The, what do we think the public means, basically? And if we're doling out now, for one thing, you, you, you give an artist and they do little portraits. All right, that's not public portraits. All that, all that sort of stuff. But look at all the controversy we've always had over public monuments. You know, I mean, you know, you want a monument that will please the greatest number of people, uh, and yet have a certain innovation to it, like the Vietnam uh, War Memorial, for, for me, I'm going to cry, is one of the best monuments ever made. But there still was the idea we needed a traditional monument to honor one women, which is a postmodern concept, a, 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 a new concept with respect to, you know, changing times, the way, the way definition of women are being, being changed. Also, they wanted, wanted a, a traditional sculpture of you know, uh, fighting guys, basically. Well, they got that, but that was kind of an afterthought, you know, and so there's no easy answer to any of this, really.